Okay, the purpose of this demonstration is to uh, show you an example of using the laws of exponents uh, for a more complicated problem. For those of you in my class, this is I have one of the ones on the homework sheet. And I just wanted to go over some of my thinking in terms of looking at this so that you could do some of this at home. <clears throat> so if you look in front of you, you see a rather complicated looking problem. And as I like to tell my students, difficult problems really are just a bunch of simple ones that they have stacked together. And part of what we need to do is to unstack the problems or solve the simpler problems as we go through here. So when I look at this, what do I see? What are you looking at? Well, I see a couple things. I see a large problem that has been squared. I see two smaller fractions within a larger fraction. And I think that's probably a clue about where I'm going to go. And within that smaller fraction and a smaller fraction, I see this fraction here, which I can probably do something with in terms of simplifying. Remember, PEMDAS is a really good signpost, a really good way to try to get me uh, started in, in solving some of these expressions or simplifying some of these expressions. So do what's inside the parentheses first before I do any exponent work. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take this portion of the problem and simplify it. So I'm going to rewrite everything that surrounds it. And here, I'm going to just notice that when these bases are the same, I can subtract the exponents. Remember, there's a 1 there. So I'm going to use the quotient rule and subtract that and come up with x squared. So that's going to give me 3x squared over 2. So just using the quotient rule right here, I've simplified the problem just a bit. Now let's keep moving on here. What can I do in this step? Well, I might be tempted to cross those out, but I can't because that's in a denominator, that's in a numerator, so I won't do that. But what I'm noticing is that there's a fraction divided by a fraction here. And if you remember your Algebra 1, whenever you have a fraction divided by a fraction, you can multiply by the reciprocal. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say 2 over x squared times 2 over 3 x squared. I just took this, flipped it up, and multiplied it. Now that actually helps a little bit too, because now I can actually do some stuff up here. Let me go ahead and show you what I could do. I'm going to use the product rule, because I noticed that this base and this base are the same, which means I can add those exponents and I can multiply those numerators so I actually am coming up with 4 to the 3 X to the fourth quantity squared this is getting simpler and simpler all the time notice by by taking apart little simple problems along the way I'm simplifying my problem doesn't look like there's anything more I can do inside my parentheses. So now I can move to my exponent part of PEMDAS. What I see is this. I can square the 4 and get 16. I can square the 9, or the 3 rather, and get 9. And I can raise this exponent to this exponent, and you multiply. Remember when you do that, that's the, um, the quotient rule, or the power rule, excuse me. So that's going to give me x to the 8th. Now, that's actually my final answer. That's as simplified as it's going to get. So let me encourage you one more time. From the beginning, whenever you see a difficult problem, try to find the smaller problems that you know how to do inside the smaller problems. As you undo those smaller problems or simplify them, it's leading you to simplify the expression more and more till you finally get to a point where it's as simple as it can get. Okay, I hope that helped. Good luck, and uh, see you in the next couple of videos.